Hey Ari, welcome to my channel and welcome to your April update. We're going to find out what's currently going on in your life for April. Please remember that this energy in just general, it may not resonate for everyone, okay? So let's get straight into this Aerie and find out what's going on. Okay, Erin. So I'm definitely getting that. Somebody's really upset, okay, because you're looking away from them. Like you, it's like you've walked away from this person. Or I'm getting they could have had like a thing with you, okay? This could be a past person. But they're really upset because you're looking away, okay, from them. Um, I am getting that um, you are healing at the moment. You do have a lot of options here, okay? But you're definitely not wanting to go back to the past here. I am getting that a past person is moving towards you, though. Okay, I do see that there could be... Um, a twin flame connection or a soul connection here with the king and queen of pentacles okay so you definitely are dealing with somebody that you feel a strong soul connection to right you could be dealing with a taurus you could be dealing with a cancer or a scorpio i am getting that you're really upset okay because this person, okay, walked away in the past. Now they're really upset as well that they walked away. I am getting that there's some truth that could have came out, okay, that ended this situation in the past. So you guys could have had a thing in the past, okay, Aries? But some type of truth came out and caused an end here. Um, I do see that you're healing from that ending. So I do see that this is a really powerful connection, okay? Um, with the Hierophant, with the High Priestess, King and Queen of Pentacles, and the Chariot, okay? This is definitely a strong connection a strong soul connection on both ends um you both are each other's wish fulfillment but i'm getting that the masculine here is not moving towards you okay um it's like they are having to make a choice and they're not making it they may have to leave a marriage or something like that I am getting that this masculine does have to leave something here. And this masculine wants to do this, but at the moment they're in this stuck energy. They're trying to figure out how they're going to do this, but they are getting guided to do this from their own intuition. I mean, they want the Ten of Pentacles with you, right? Um... And their intuition is guiding them to that as well. But I am seeing that there's some type of commitment in the way on the Divine Masculine. And you could be dealing with an Aquarius. This person really, really wants to be with you, okay? They really want to be with you. They can't stop thinking about you. Um, now, this person, they have other options. Or it's like they've never met anybody else like you. I'm getting that there's a lot of communication issue to areas, okay? So, maybe you and this person are not speaking at the moment. You both are really missing each other, longing to be together. You're both longing to be together, but you both feel like this is over. You both feel stuck as well on each other. 
this divine masculine really wanted to reconcile with you, but there was something they did to you. They acted really fake or they made a really quick decision to just like cut you off. I am seeing um, that the feminine here, I am seeing that the feminine here may be waiting for the divine masculine to actually make a move um, and move away from something. But I'm getting the divine masculine has moved away from this connection at this moment because this love is really overwhelming for them. They're spending a lot of time at the moment, okay, thinking about how you make them feel. They're really missing you right now. I'm getting this person really wants to come into your life and work with you, okay? Even if it's just as a friend, um, this person loves being in your energy. So I'm getting that this divine masculine actually does not... Like, they're really confused. There's a confusion here. There's a lot of communication issues here. Like, you guys are not communicating. Um, you guys have strong feelings for each other, but you guys are not communicating this to each other. It's like you're holding it, the feeling to yourself, missing each other, wanting to be together. There could be this divine masculine not letting this other person go, like the marriage or whatever, or... They're just not committing. They could be trying to find you in other people and realizing that it's not working. Yeah, they're realizing that nobody is you. Okay, this person had tried to find you in other people. Now they realize nobody is you. You both keep like a close eye on each other, but you both are really sneaky about it. It's like the communication... I don't know, I'm getting like a real secretive vibe, like you guys don't communicate about how you feel about each other, but you both want to be together. I'm getting 555. Five, five. I am getting that the feminine here is really wide, okay? Um, they could have tried to play a game with you, and... Yeah, you, like, cut them off or something. This Divine Masculine, um... I'm hearing marking their territory. What? Okay, um, so... I don't know how they could have read name, but literally, they want to claim you, okay? There's illusion on both ends, though. Like, you both are confused. Like, you don't know if this is, like, real. You don't know what this is because nobody's actually communicating. It's like this wants to go to the next level, but it's not because nobody's actually communicating their feelings. Both of you were keeping your feelings to themselves. Uh, to yourself, sorry. And there's a lot of confusion. A lot of confusion here, right? Even this masculine, they want to reconcile with you, but they're confused. So somebody here thought this was like a crush and now they realise this is more than a crush, that they're in love with you. I do see that there's a lot of pain, okay? Somebody here, and I am getting it the masculine, is holding on to another option, okay? Trying to deny their feelings, but they can't stop thinking about you. There's a lot of pain here because this person, it's like they're spending a lot of time upset about you, okay? Even if they're in a third party or something like that, they're upset about you. Yeah, because they want things to go to the next level, but they really don't know how you feel. So they feel like it's just safe to stay stuck in this. 
There's not a lot of communication here, but you both want the Ten of Pentacles with each other. You both want to be together. You both feel like you guys would be the perfect couple. I'm hearing gone. I don't know. Let me know if that resonates for you. There's a lot of like people, like you guys pretending that you don't feel the way that you do, but you do feel this way. This masculine doesn't feel good enough for you. I'm getting 888. <clears throat> they don't feel like they have a lot to offer, Sagittarius. But they're like freaking out over you. I'm also getting 999. There definitely is a karmic cycle, okay, that's causing a lot of burden that needs to end here. Um, this is a cycle that's continuously repeated for I don't know how long, but it has 11, 11 on the clock. Um, it's time to end it, okay? Um, I am getting it from the Divine Masculine side. Could be on either side, but... Yeah, so this brand new energy can come in, okay? So you guys, because there is somebody here that has your heart, but there is a third party somewhere that needs to end, okay? And I am seeing that the Divine Masculine here is seeing that this needs to end, they're stuck on you, okay? No matter what they do, they can't stop thinking about you. Their intuition is guiding them to you as well. It's like they're holding it back. Like, this wants to start, but they're having a hard time letting go, okay, of this karmic cycle that is keeping them stuck, um, which is holding them back from this beautiful eight of pentacles, right, with you. I'm hearing the name Amelia. Yeah, this person wants to commit to you. Like, even if they're in another commitment, they just don't feel it, okay? They want to be with you, but they keep themselves stuck. There could be children involved, but they're definitely in a karmic cycle that wants to end, that needs to end. And somebody is having a hard time ending it. It's like somebody here is having a hard time making the moves, okay, to start this beautiful new beginning. There could be a commitment involved, but they're having a hard time letting go of this commitment. This person's very logical, okay? It's like their spirit, their intuition is guiding them to you, but then their mind comes in and they feel like they have to stay here for some reason. Their intuition is guiding them to you. Like their intuition is like screaming at them. I am getting that you're in your power, you're healing, okay, this person feels immature, okay, because they will not take this leap of faith and end whatever this karmic cycle is to start this beautiful new beginning, it's like they keep trying to control things, it wants to end but they keep trying to control it, I'm hearing the name Reg, this person is like really hurting themselves because they're lying to themselves they're staying stuck in something that doesn't make them happy which they literally feel stuck they feel like they cannot be themselves they're not going for what they truly want okay they want to walk away they keep looking at you but it's like their mind keeps them stuck and i am getting that this person doesn't come in they communicate for a bit then they just ghost because this person doesn't know if they're ready to Follow their intuition. It's like they're not really sure if they 100% believe in their intuition, okay, because this does, um, like, require them to actually leave a situation that's doing nothing but hurting them so they can bring this brand new energy in Sagittarius, okay? Um, and, again, this could go both ways. This could be you or this other person. Take it how it resonates. Um, but that's all I have for you. I really hope this resonates. If it did, please let me know in the comments. 
please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.